Hey guys, welcome back to Lush Aqua. So today I'm in Goa. I am enjoying my holiday out here. But I stumbled upon this amazing fish store in Goa. It's called LJ Enterprises. Now, one thing that really shocked me about this store is how clean it is. It is really neat. So I decided to go in and check out whatever they had. And I started talking to the owner of the store. And the owner of the store told me he is also a, a stingray breeder. And that explains a lot why the store is kept so neatly. Because when a breeder turns into a store owner, he knows how to keep his fish, right? Uh, another thing is uh, in this store, it's actually the first store I have seen that has an uh, RO unit installed. So all the fish are getting some really good quality water as well. Now, just in the start of the video, I'm going to be telling you guys, this is not going to be one of those store visits where I'm going to be taking you to each tank and showing you each fish and then telling you the prices as well. So if you're interested in that, I would suggest don't watch the video. But if you want to really enjoy a good fish store in Goa and if you are from Goa, uh, I really highly recommend you come to LJ Fish Store. This is in Margao. I will be giving the whole address in the description below. So you can uh, come check it out, buy some fish, help out a person who's uh, really maintaining his fish at this level, keeping the fish so comfortable, so clean in all these tanks. So let's go check it out. So we finally entered the store and the first thing you notice when you enter this store is how neat and clean everything is. Uh, every rack, every tank is really well siphoned. Uh, you won't see any dirt. Even in a goldfish tank, usually you find a lot of poop in goldfish tanks. But as you can see here, there is no poop at the bottom. The glass is clean. Now they are restocking their tanks. They have gotten some new stock just today. Uh, so they have done a water change that's why you see a little hazy water in this tank as well but another thing i'd like to mention about this store is all the prices of the fish have been mentioned on the tank itself so you don't need to actually go and ask someone for the prices if you know fair enough what fish you're looking at for example like if i'm looking at a rosy barb right here uh, i am a really shy person and i don't really like to go and ask someone like iska kitna and uska kitna so it helps a lot if the prices are just written here and i just need to look through this list and see okay rosy barb is uh, 70 rupees a pair and i can just go ahead and tell the owner like you know give me a pair of rosy barb or give me a pair of maybe black widow and he will give it to me without you know haggling over the prices as well now talking about the pricing uh, i won't get into that I did find it a bit cheaper but obviously there will be people who will comment like no no this is expensive that was cheaper that store is cheaper so I'm not going to get into that but uh, for me uh, 70 rupees for a pair of rosy barbs is quite reasonable now let's also go ahead and see they have a dry section out here uh, a small dry section not very huge but they have one of my favorite products there that is uh, bubbles and troubles now uh, I always love the nature care so I'm really happy that they have nature care in their store they also do have uh, the other bubbles and troubles collection now they also have uh, the frozen blood worms and the gel blood worms the dewormer and everything else uh, from the bubbles and troubles uh, lineup now they also have a, a upper deck that we will be going right now and checking out now let's go ahead and go up so now we are on the upper deck on the first floor of LJ Enterprises fish store. They do have quite a few tanks here as well. Now these tanks are specifically for smaller fish like tetras and smaller goldfish as well. But the same thing you get to see in these tanks as well, really clean tanks. Like if I mention the small goldfish tank out here, you see it's a bare bottom tank, but you don't get to see a lot of poop at the bottom. Now a lot of goldfish owners watching this will be surprised because uh, if you know or you've kept goldfish, you know that uh, goldfish love only two things. One is eating and the second is pooping. But here you see all the tanks are quite clean. Now I know a lot of you watching will be wondering why am I praising this store so much? Is this a paid promotion or not? But I'd like to mention right here that this is not a paid promotion for LJ Enterprises. This is me trying to motivate and to feature uh, a store owner that is keeping his tank so well and keeping the fish so well. Because when the, the fish are so comfortable in the store itself, when a hobbyist or a younger hobbyist takes the fish home, he doesn't have a lot of fish dying on him and usually when a young hobbyist just is new in the hobby and a lot of fish die, uh, he gets really demotivated and leaves the hobby. So it's really important to get good quality fish 
and this is some place that I have found in Goa that uh, is giving some good quality fish. So now let's go ahead and talk to the owner of this store, Mr. Lewis, and ask him how did he think of starting such a store in Margao. Now I have been to Goa, as I mentioned, I am from Goa and I've been to a lot of fish stores around Goa, but this is the first fish store that actually impressed me. So let's go and talk to him and ask him how he got this idea of starting this fish store. So here we have Mr. Lewis uh, from LJ Enterprises. Hello, sir. Welcome to Lush Aqua. Thank you. Uh, what motivated you, I'd like to ask because this is one of the best store, I was telling my viewers that this is one of the best stores I have visited in Goa. What motivated you to open this fish store uh, and keep the tank so clean and such a good ambience for a fish store? Uh, basically, as you know, I am a breeder by profession and I've always been keeping fish, you know, as a, from a very young age. If I am not, if I remember correctly, I think around 8 years, when I was around 8 years old. And uh, I've been buying fish from all over, uh, apart from buying from Goa, from other states as well. I felt there was a need, you know, to project things in the right way, how they should be kept. So as you have seen in the store, we have kept, you know, fish that get along or certain variety in one tank or a mixed variety that will get along, in, you know, in a tank. So it's easier for the client or whoever, you know, is there around to pick up what they want. So I thought I would do some, that was my whole idea of starting the store, the commercial aspect of it. But basically it was... As a hobbyist. Hobby. So you started this as a hobbyist and that is very evident because uh, this much hard work, I was just telling my viewers as well, you are one of the fish stores that has an RO unit. Could you tell us why does a fish store require an RO unit? Uh, basically it kinds of, you know, polishes the water in the sense it removes whatever suspended particles then your chlorine and all those kind of things so it helps okay in the long run it will reduce your cost in the sense you will not lose much fish plus the hobbyists and new hobbyists as well would not lose fish so someone who takes the fish from you goes home they wouldn't get demotivated like the fish dies or something like that yeah. right so what are your plans like i can see a lot of space on top i know a lot of tanks have to come what are your plans see, now although this is a commercial aspect of things of what i do I just wanted to showcase, I've got a lot of ideas that I want to do, you know, like in prototype tanks and you know, something different, which I'll be doing. The thing is, I just started and I'm kind of, you know, settling down. Okay. Because I work alone. So okay. It gets difficult for me. So a lot coming up, a lot, a lot coming up for LG Enterprises. I wish you best of luck. I hope this ta this store just goes higher and higher. I know we have only have one floor right now, but I hope it goes to two and three floors. Another thing I'd like to uh, say a very good idea is this. Uh, I was just showing them earlier about having the pricing right on the tank itself. So no one have to say, Louis, uh, please tell me the price of this. So please tell me the price of that. You just had yes. the pricing. They look at it. They just have to say, I want this one pair or that one pair. And they can just go ahead. Right? Yes. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Lewis. Thank I you. hope we'll be covering your uh, stingray breeding setup tomorrow and you'll be yeah, showing us a lot about stingray breeding and stingray care. Thank you so much. I enjoyed being at your store. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.